In the year 2018, a woman called Lynn Greenfield stumbled upon an article that left her feeling uneasy. It was the story of Richard Montanez, the man credited with inventing flaming Hot Cheetos. The narrative was heartwarming, a janitor with a billion-dollar idea that inspired millions. However, Lynn Greenfield, who claimed to be the real inventor, found this tale discomforting. She reached out to Frito-Lay, determined to set the record straight. What followed was a chain of events that has brought us to the present day. But before delving deeper into the controversy, it is essential to understand Richard's side of the story, which is undeniably heartwarming. In the 1980s, Richard Montanez worked as a janitor at a Frito-Lay plant just outside Los Angeles. During that time, Roger Enrico held the position of CEO and circulated a company-wide video encouraging employees to take ownership and initiative. While most employees dismissed it as corporate fluff, Richard took it to heart. One day, while at a local grocery store, Richard examined the plain and flavorless Frito-Lay products on the shelves. It struck him that these snacks lacked real zest and spiciness. The idea sparked in his mind. It was time for a chip with some heat, a chip that would truly ignite the taste buds. Richard grabbed some plain Cheetos from the factory and, together with his wife, embarked on a mission to create the perfect mix of spices. After numerous trials, they finally developed the ultimate concoction, the first-ever Flamin' Hot Cheeto. Overwhelmed with excitement, Richard called the CEO, Roger Enrico, to share his groundbreaking idea. Astonishingly, his call reached Enrico, who was intrigued by the concept. Enrico decided to visit the plant in two weeks and requested Richard to prepare a presentation for the executives. Despite his limited reading, writing, and business knowledge, Richard was determined. He spent hours at the local library, studying marketing concepts and preparing 100 plastic bags filled with his innovative creation. The day of the presentation arrived, and Richard, a janitor, found himself in the boardroom, speaking to some of the most highly qualified executives in America. The presentation exceeded his expectations, but as it was about to conclude, an executive inquired about the potential market share of Richard's invention. Unfamiliar with the term market share, Richard improvised and spread his arms wide, exclaiming that his creation would capture a significant market share. Little did he know that his invention would indeed become one of Frito-Lay's most successful products, generating billions of dollars in revenue. Richard swiftly rose through the ranks, becoming an executive and sharing his inspirational story through multiple books and public speeches. Eventually, the internet embraced Richard's tale, turning him into a viral sensation. This is where Lynn Greenfield enters the picture. According to her claims, the story of Richard as the sole inventor of Flamin' Hot Cheetos was a fabrication. She insisted that the credit for the invention belonged to her. Lynn promptly informed Frito-Lay's legal team, setting off an internal investigation. Frito-Lay responded by stating, None of our records show that Richard was involved in any capacity in the Flamin' Hot test market. Lynn's argument gained traction when it was discovered that the concept for spicy snacks originated from corner stores in Chicago and Detroit, where salesmen noticed the popularity of such snacks and relayed the information to Frito-Lay's corporate headquarters. However, Richard still maintained that he had conceived the idea while at a grocery store in California. The investigation's findings contradicted his claim, casting doubts on his version of events. In defense of Richard, it is worth noting that he had conducted a grand presentation attended by over 100 people, many of whom were top executives. But when the LA Times sought out these individuals, none of them could recall the famous presentation. One former project manager even stated, if that story existed, believe me, we would have heard about it. Nevertheless, Richard had a trump card. The former CEO, Roger Enrico, who was prominently featured in Richard's account of events. Enrico was believed to have been the one who inspired Richard with the company-wide video, accepted his call, planned the presentation, and approved the development of Flamin' Hot Cheetos. However, it was revealed that Enrico only joined Frito-Lay in early 1991, six months after Flamin' Hot Cheetos had already been created. Unfortunately, Enrico passed away in 2016 without publicly acknowledging his involvement. The evidence seemed to stack against Richard. Frito-Lay issued a statement acknowledging his contributions to the company, but explicitly denying him credit for the creation of Flamin' Hot Cheetos. 
However, some supporters of Richard argued that the statement did not address the central question. Did Richard Montanez invent Flamin' Hot Cheetos? Interestingly, Frito-Lay never disputed the LA Times article or sought any corrections or amendments. Exploring the possible explanations for this complicated situation, three scenarios emerge. Firstly, it is plausible that Richard intentionally lied, gradually conflating his true story with the success of Flamin' Hot Cheetos and other related products. Over time, the boundaries between his genuine contributions and those of others may have blurred. Secondly, memory issues could have played a role. Psychological research on the misinformation effect suggests that memories can be influenced and distorted over time. This could have impacted Richard's recollection of events. Lastly, there remains the possibility that Richard is indeed telling the truth. Critics argue that the investigation may have been biased against him, overlooking crucial pieces of evidence in his favor. In their eyes, Richard Montanez is a genius and the true mastermind behind Flamin' Hot Cheetos. As the controversy continues to unfold, the truth behind the creation of Flamin' Hot Cheetos remains elusive. The legacy of this beloved snack continues to captivate and inspire, leaving us to ponder the complex tale of Richard Montanez and Lynn Greenfield, two individuals vying for credit as the true inventor of a cultural phenomenon. Perhaps time and further investigation will shed light on this intriguing debate, revealing the definitive answer we all seek.